Welcome to Allergy and Asthma Network's Learning Pathway Series. Today, we're going to look at how eczema, also called atopic dermatitis, is diagnosed. Eczema is a chronic, non-contagious skin disease resulting from inflammation. Eczema is more common and sometimes more severe in Black and Hispanic Latino patients, especially children. It's important to get a clear diagnosis of eczema and what causes your symptoms. There are three types of allergens and irritants that are common in eczema. Environmental allergens such as pollen, mold, dust mites, and pet dander. Household or personal products can cause contact dermatitis, a type of eczema. Products include certain soaps and detergents, chemicals in cleaning products, and wool or synthetic clothing. Food allergens, most often seen in children. Your doctor will review your general health and family medical history to see if there are links to eczema. Asthma, food allergies, and family history of allergy can all be associated with eczema. Your doctor may recommend testing to find out what allergens and irritants are causing your eczema symptoms. Environmental allergens are most often diagnosed using skin tests. Skin tests involve droplets of suspected allergens that are placed on or just under the skin surface. If raised bumps appear, about the size of a mosquito bite, that indicates an allergy. Skin tests for environmental allergens are quick and accurate. They are usually conducted by an allergist. Skin tests provide results, usually within 20 minutes. Another type of test for allergens is a blood test. A blood test looks for antibodies called immunoglobulin E or IgE. These are antibodies produced by the immune system that reacts to specific allergens. Lab results for blood tests can take several days. Talk with your healthcare provider about the test results. Eczema typically results in very high IgE levels and that can affect the test results. Another type of test is a patch test. Patch tests are commonly used to test for contact dermatitis. The doctor applies adhesive strips containing potential allergens onto your back. After two to three days, the patches are removed by the doctor and the skin is evaluated for reactions. If eczema symptoms appear, then it's confirmation of an allergy. If foods are triggering eczema, then you may undergo food allergy testing, such as a skin test or blood test. If you regularly eat the food that is causing eczema symptoms, your doctor may recommend an elimination diet. An elimination diet is an eating plan that removes a food or food groups believed to be causing the reaction. Your doctor may also evaluate you for a viral, bacterial, or fungal infection. Eczema may worsen if you develop a cold or the flu, strep throat, or a yeast infection. Clearing up the infection can improve your eczema. After your testing, your doctor will talk with you about the results. Be sure to ask any questions you may have and work together to find the best treatment option for you. Join us for another Learning Pathways presentation. Allergy and Asthma Network is working every day to end the needless death and suffering due to asthma, allergies, and related conditions through outreach, education, advocacy, and research.